In this video, I will show you how to create a view model and binding it to the page. You also will learn how to navigate to the page using navigation button and enable the authentication. Let's start to create the view model to describe the view that we created in the previous video. We are going to create two view models. The first view model is to describe the product's view, and another view model for the product details view. Now, add a new class for the product's view model. inherit it from the view model base. In this view model, I am going to add one property that describe the product collection. And here is the methods and constructors for loading the products. The load product method parses the product data from the XML file and add each product to the product collection. While this constructor loads the product, and set the product image to the image that we have prepared earlier and also set the navigatory. Now, add another class for product details view model. Inherit it from the view model base. In this view model, I am going to add several properties that describes the selected product and save command. And here is the constructors that accepts two parameters such as ID and products. In this constructor you also initialize the delegate command and create two method for this command. The save product method is executed when the navigation button been click and the can save product method is used to check whether the button is disabled or not. Now that we have the model, view and view model ready. The last step is to bind the UI elements in the view to the view model. We will be doing several things here, such as binding the item source of the list box, and all the UI controls in the templates to the properties of the view model. First, let instantiate the products view model in the products page. We're going to create a data template in UX page resources for UX list box. This control normally shows a simple string data, but can also be customized to place any silver light controls for richer presentation. We are going to use a custom layout to display our product data. In UX page resource create a new data template and name it product view template.
Look at the target frame property in UX navigation button. This property is used to determine the frame to be used for navigation. Next, create a style and name it products view items style. This style is used to customize the layout on the UX list box. Then, we will bind the view model to the data context of the page. This allows the remaining child UI elements to inherit the same data context, which is the product's view model. Then, bind the list box item template property with the data template that we have created earlier. After that bind the UI controls in the data template, which is used by the list box to display the product data. Next. Open product details CS file. Add some code to our navigate method. This code is used to set the data context for this model. Next, open product details page. Then, bind the save command property and view model to the UX toolbar button command property. Next, bind the image source property to the image property from products view model. Then, Bind all the text property to the existing properties and products such as product ID. We are going to use two-way binding mode for the product name, category, brand and product description. Two-way binding ensures automatic data synchronization between the UI control and the objects. This means that any changes in object will be reflected to the UI in the other way around. We also use validate on data errors. It will check when you call validate method.
Let's see how easy it is to show the page in our line of business navigation MVVM application. First remove the default navigation button for product. Next, simply add a navigation button here, and set its navigatory property to the user-friendly URI of our products page. Then set the URI mapping in UX frame. Finally, let us build and run the project. Here we go, our line of business navigation MVVM application, notice the navigation button we just added. Click on it to navigate to the products page. Notice the journal button and the browser address is synchronized automatically. Then try to click one of the list box item it will show the selected product details. You also can try to change requires authentication property in your view to true, this will active the authentication to this page. If you want only users with certain roles can view the page, set the requires role property with certain role that allow accessing the page. Then run the project again. Try to click in your products button you will see a login page. You must login first to be able to see this page. In this video, you have learned how to create line of business navigation MVVM application project using Intersoft Client UI MVVM business application template. You also learn how to create view model and binding it into the product and product details page and adding a new page along with the button to navigate to the new page. Thank you for watching Intersoft Solutions tutorial video. For more videos, Please visit our support website at intersoft.com/support